Hi, I'm Bob Turner. I'm with a company called Balkan Systems. We're over here in West Branch at a company called Balsam. And this is a tool and die welder. His name's Tom. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? All right. What we're going to do today is we're going to, we have a piece of uh, D2 tool steel that has been chipped and Tom's uh, cleaned it up with one of their customers and it's been broke out. We're going to rebuild it with the Balkan TIG wires. So the first thing we want to do is we want to preheat this piece to warm it up as D2 tool steel. Okay? Okay, what Tom's going to do now is preheat this up to, uh, we're going to give it about 500 degrees preheat. That's a little bit on the low side, but any is better than none. We don't need to heat it up to 900 or 1,000 degrees. We've got to get the repair done, and we've got to get it into the back in the press and rolling. So uh, we'll get a little preheat in here, and then away we go. And here we are. We have our Vulcan TIG wire 4400 CG control grain. It's a nickel chrome vanadium alloy, and what it's designed for is to seal up, put on first on the tool steel, then you, uh, that seals off the carbon, so then you would put the tool steel on top. So this sort of acts like a primer or a base coat, so that you can put the tool steel on any kind of tool steel, it doesn't matter. So uh, what we're going to do is, Tom's going to uh, put this on this piece of hot uh, D2, and he's going to weld on there, and he's going to peen this so that uh, as he goes along, he'll go about an inch or so, he'll peen it with a hammer and that stress relieves it as he's welding. Okay, what he's doing is he's putting on the, his, you know, the uh, Vulcan T4400CG control grain to uh, put it onto the tool steel. Now he's gonna, pe he's peening. And the reason he peens is to stress relieve. As that's cooling down, he's helping it relieve itself because the weld deposit is hot and it's cooling down. What this can be used for is, besides being an undercoat or a primer on your tool steel, it also can be used for joining your tool steel. If you have a piece of tool steel that's cracked right out, you can put it right together with, with it. Now he's doing the trim edge, he's filled in the, the big nick, and he's going to go across where the trim section is, and after he gets done with this and gets it peened in, we're going to put the uh, Vulcan T9900 tool steel on top, and he'll be, it'll be ready to go to the die makers and back in the press. See how that flows right in there, Tom? Oh, yeah. It's smooth like it has a lot of nipple in it. Oh, yeah. It's got everything you want in it and, and yeah, nice flowing. nothing that you don't want in there. That's what it's got. You can put this on any tool tool. A2, D2, high speed, hot work, H12. It seals it. You can put it on mild steel. Put it on there, then put your tool steel. Now you've got a, another section made out of just regular old mild steel. And now we're going to put on the tool steel. It's Vulcan's T9900TS tool steel. After you put down the base coat with the T4400CG, you put the tool steel on. You follow the same procedure. Tom's going to put it on. He's going to do about an inch. Then he's going to peen it. Inch about peen it, stress relieve it. And uh, I'm going to give it over to Tom, and he's going to put it on there. Now this is a T9900TS tool steel and uh, it has a Rockwell about 57, 56, 57 is everything you want. It takes high impacts um, and it'll hold the edge for you. You'll put, it, you'll put another uh, bead on there and kind of build up that edge. Now he can put on one or two passes, whatever he needs after he's done the T4400CG. He can put on the T9900TS. He can put on one, two, three, four, five layers, whatever he needs. That, and uh, the idea is that the T4400...
The T4400CG has sealed everything off. It also helps in taking the shock in your punches and your trim sections when they're hitting. So it's everything you want on your section. Okay, what we have, we, Tom's got her all done there. He did a real nice job. We're gonna let this cool down real slow. And then we're gonna give it to the die makers and they're gonna uh, do whatever they do to it. Sharpen it up and put it back in the press and, or in the die and get you going, get your plant going again. Okay, now what we're gonna attempt here is we're gonna show you a way that you can do a real quick repair, sometimes right in the press because it's an emergency. What Tom's gonna do is demonstrate the fact that you can put the T 4400 CG right on the job, right in the press, in the nick, put the tool steel T9900 TS right on top, beat it with a hammer, keep it as fast as possible, and do it as quick as possible so we don't build up any heat in there, okay? And here we go, Tom's gonna demonstrate that now. Go ahead, Tom. Now what he's, what he's gonna do is he's gonna put the uh, uh, T4400 CG, he's gonna hurry up, he's gonna stress relieve it, Very good, now he's gonna put the tool steel real quickly. He's putting the tool steel on right away in that little neck area you got in there that's kind of messing up your shift. He's gonna hurry up and do it. Keep going, Tom, keep going, Tom. There you go. Now the die maker come in, sharpen that up, and get you through a few more pieces if you need to be. Then take it out and preheat it and do it properly uh, You know when you have time. And that's how to do a real quick repair in an emergency.